Hi, Karen Gohler here. I am going to save some of you some time and aggravation with this video. I don't normally do videos like this, but this is worth, uh, worth doing. So many of you know that since 2012, I've been trying to get some voiceover roles. I've been cast in film roles and to date have not had a voiceover role yet. It's okay, I'm not giving up. I'm still applying to them. So on January 3rd or 4th, I received an email. I'm actually going to read it to you. Uh, saying that I received your contact information from your website. Okay, my contact information is on my website. It's all over the internet. That's no, no surprise, no joke. It's, it, that's fine. Uh, to inquire about your services as a voice actor. Okay, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I did apply to a few voiceover roles in the past few weeks, so okay. I, then he wrote, I would appreciate if you could get back to me. I look forward to hearing from you. Sounds like a pretty standard email, right? Well, let me go on. So I did respond because it sounded like it could have been legit, but I just wasn't certain because he didn't mention which role it was. So I wrote, sounds interesting. Can you give me more details? That's pretty much my standard response when I'm not certain if it's something that I actually applied for. So he did respond with a pretty long email. Uh, I'm not reading the whole thing. But he did write that it's an $850 voice assignment for you in English. Really? <laughs> a new corporate client needs assistance creating their online website. Okay. The assignment entails a copyrighted script and we'll have specialists and contract studio engineers ensuring absolute perfection. But that's assumed. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a two-day commitment with no day requiring more than 45 minutes. I'm sorry, but perfection doesn't normally happen in 45 minutes. So that was a bit of a red flag. But even though I saw the red flag, I said to myself, I need to keep this going. I need to see if it's actually a scam. So I did write, sounds great. How soon are you looking to do this? And I gave him my, uh, available days and times. Um, not that specific, just in general, uh, days and times. So then he wrote back another pretty lengthy email. I'll spare you some of the boring. Then he wrote, thank you for expressing your interest. Okay. Unfortunately, he can't share the copyrighted script due to confidentiality. Okay. <laughs> If I'm supposed to be reading this script, I need the script. It's another red flag. That's a huge red flag. Then he wrote, the script will be released the day before the project. Well, in the previous email, he said he wanted perfection. You're not going to get perfection if you don't give the voice actor or the actor the script. <laughs> so, big red flag. Okay? Then he wrote, as part of my policy, I received partial payment before starting any job. Okay, another red flag. So far there are about three red flags and this is just the beginning. He wrote he'll coordinate with a client to, to mail me $400 part payment. Okay, once you confirm it, the balance will be settled on the final recording day. Your total payment is $850 as discussed. I already knew that this was not legit, but I also knew that I was going to want to report him, so I had to keep it going. So then I did reply, I gave him a mailing address, and then that Thursday he wrote, good news, the gig payment has just been issued and sent. I said to myself, BS. He wrote, there's a slight increase due to an oversight meant for both you and the consultant engineer. Upon receiving payment, deposited in your account via ATM or online. 
he evidently didn't want anyone going to a bank with these fake checks. Uh, wait for confirmation within 24 hours, then deduct $400 and transfer the remaining to the consultant engineer. Another red flag, two red flags right in that one email. When someone tells you to pay someone else, especially if it's a complete stranger, that's a red flag. You better investigate that, okay? If he's hiring all these people, he's the one that should be paying them, okay? If someone tells you they're paying you in advance for an acting or a voiceover role, that's another red flag. I've been on well over a hundred, at least in the past 11 years, and I have never received partial payment in advance for any role. It doesn't normally happen, okay? So a couple of red flags. Oh, another one. I'll add an extra $50 as compensation. Okay, so what is that? What are we up to? Like five red flags already? And we're only on Thursday. It gets better. <clears throat> on Saturday, before I read that next sentence or two, I was, let me back up. I'm also looking for investors for my Missy's Voice film. So just keep that in the back of your mind. On Saturday, I was running out the door to go to a gym. I still do consulting in gyms. And I see this. I was like, oh, what am I expecting? I wasn't expecting anything. Um, I open it up. I peek in. But I didn't actually pull the piece of paper out of the envelope. I peeked in and I saw what looked like a check. I said to myself, did I get another investor for this film? Like only, you know, only a decent sized check would be overnight. That's what I'm thinking to myself. So I didn't look at the check. I just kind of know, you know, it looked like one from peeking in the envelope. I threw it inside the house ran to the gym and for a couple of hours I was saying to myself who could it be why would you know somebody send something and not actually contact me about it this is the check that I received now <clears throat> at first glance right it looks like a normal check right no lots of red flags first red flag there's no check number Every check needs a check number. There is what appears to be a routing number and account number. They've set that up fairly well. I don't know if it's the right amount of digits. Uh, the routing number is actually the right amount of digits. The account number I'm not sure about. But there's no, there's no check number. That's a huge red flag. Automatically, fake check, scam. Okay? If you miss that, if you totally don't realize that every check needs a check number, you look over here. Chase Bank, no logo. Okay, that's another huge red flag. See this address, this business name? Doesn't exist. I googled it. That Fulton Investments was never in Seagirt. I could not find Fulton Investments anywhere. Okay, then I googled the address itself. Fulton Investments was not at that address. Okay, so this screams the word scam. Okay, but I didn't actually look at this check carefully until I got home on Saturday. So, keep in mind, I was thinking that this could actually be legit because I didn't actually look at the check. I was thinking it was for something totally unrelated to this scam. Okay, that's the first one. So I'm driving home from that gym Saturday. I get a text as I was getting gas. I said to myself, I, I can't, you know, text this person. I don't, you know, I'm driving. So I call, I hit the call button on my phone, on my car. The guy answers. And he was nasty. He was like, who is this? I said, well, you just texted me. 
you know, who is this? And um, he yelled at me. He goes, I texted about the voiceover role. <laughs> I was like, okay, can you be more specific? And he yelled at me again, look at the emails. Just look at the emails. And I said, okay, I'm driving right now. I'll look at the emails when I get home. Thank you very much. And I hung up. So then I get home, look at my emails. There's another one here from this same guy. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a scammer, okay, that I've been um, stringing along. I strung along for about four days so that I could get enough information to report him. So then the email he was talking about was, I trust you're doing well. I've been notified the FedEx payment was delivered. That's the check I just showed you. Okay, that was the one I saw on the way out, on the way, you know, in the morning. I get home, guess what's in front of my door? Another, oops, that's the first one, envelope. This one is UPS. Another envelope. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that's the one he was talking about. Another check, identical. I'm not showing this, you the same one over and over again. This is two checks, two envelopes that I got. Again, same exact check, identical, okay? Same scam, business uh, at name and address. No check number, okay? No Chase logo. There's no watermark on these checks either, and most checks actually have watermarks, okay? Um, he said they were going to be $850. Look at the amount. See that? <clears throat> $1,950 times two, okay? These scammers sent me, what is that, like $3,800 in checks? Now, if I was stupid and cashed $3,800 in checks, fake checks, yes, they would have credited me $3,800 or whatever the amount is. But then they would have, the bank would have realized they were a scam and they would have pulled the money out of my account and my bank account could have been wiped out because that's what scammers do. This is how scammers get your information and steal your money, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't exactly have money to give away to scammers. So hopefully this video saved you some time. <clears throat> My fellow actors and voiceover actors and anyone else that works in the entertainment in industry, be aware, okay? It's not legitimate. If someone sends you checks before you do the work, it's not legitimate. If there's a check with no check number, it's not legitimate. Okay. This is the contact information this scammer used to contact me. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't read my handwriting, send me a message and I will send you, I'll even forward you the emails if you want. I reported this guy to the FTC, the FBI, I think I reported him to the state police, too. Um, I didn't report him to Chase Bank yet, I don't think. I also reported him to Actors Access, Backstage, New York Castings, uh, Casting Networks, um, all of the casting websites that I myself have used, and the even the ones that I've heard friends use, the ones that I don't really use. Um, so I reported this guy to probably about 10, 10 different places. Um, I did get responses that it definitely is a scam. So please watch out for that. Do not trust, trust a guy named Rich Sutton. His email address that he's using or he used for this particular um, email is Rich Sutton, S-U-T-T-O-N 46 at gmail.com. He is a scammer. Do not believe him. Okay. Anyone that sends fake checks is looking to steal your money. Okay. I am glad that I saw it from the beginning, 
but I'm also very glad that I basically strung this guy along a couple of days so that I could have more information so that I could report him and also share the information with all of you. So again, be careful who you trust, okay? Don't trust scammers and don't trust when you get a check in the mail, okay? <laughs> Thanks and enjoy your week. Bye.